Heading down to the dock. Gonna have a big day of fishing on Lake Champlain. Over on the Vermont side. Beautiful day. It's been raining all weekend and it's Tuesday morning. And uh, no wind. A little cloudy, but it's supposed to be a pretty decent day. So hopefully the bite's on. Show you some action. You got 28? 27? Yeah. He's about the same length as the first one, but he's heavier. Nice, nice break colors. Yeah. Here you go. That's a beauty. Lake Champlain Lake Trout. Can't beat that. Well, that's a big stuffer. That's almost as good as a 10 point buck, ain't it? No. No? no? <laughs> It's time now once again for Big Woods Adventures TV, proudly sponsored by Kittery Trading Post, outfitters with style since 1938, with your hosts, Hal Blood, Chris Daldi, and Sam and Ruth McEwen. Hey folks, I'm Hal Blood. And I'm Chris Dalty. And I'm Sam McEwen. This week we're at the Shelburne Bay Shipyard. That'd be in Shelburne, Vermont, wouldn't it? I'd say so. Chris, what have we been doing here? All we've been doing is some lake trout fishing, some salmon fishing on Lake Champlain, and I gotta tell you, there's some action. There's some action. Sure Strike Charters took us out, had a wonderful time, a lot of exciting fishing. Yeah, Captain Brian and Captain Paul, they really know what they're doing. They're right on the fish all the time. They're on it. They're on it. So they're working the rods there. all the time, making sure we're right into the fish. And yep. Yep. we caught plenty of them, and we got some big ones. Yeah. Right. We, we do have to make a note that Chris did lose the biggest one. And he also caught the biggest one. And he caught the biggest <laughs> one. Yeah, but everybody lost the fish on the trip, so right. just the way it goes, right? This week's episode of Big Woods Adventures TV is being brought to you by Kittery Trading Post, celebrating 75 years in the great outdoors, Route 1, Kittery. Putting these downriggers down to the bottom. We got our lures only stretched back a little ways on most of them. We want to keep that lure right close to the bottom. We want to keep all four downriggers close to the bottom. That's very crucial. So what you'll see is me going back and forth on these just keeping them tight to the bottom so they're touching. Bottom contact's very crucial. Okay, when the a fish, down rig is gonna bump the bottom? Yep, the down yep. rig, the weight, the 10 pound weight on the bottom, see that just hit right there? Yep. We're gonna tighten that up now. We use the drag to get us down. The drag on the reel, we loosen it up so it'll go out <clears> as we let it down, keep the line nice and tight. And uh, when a fish hits, you're gonna see as the rod tip's gonna flare up. 
what you want to do is get there quickly and just reel the line tight right in the rod hole. Right. Don't pick it up first. Get the slack people, out of it. A lot of people make that mistake. They usually lose about nine out of ten fish when they pick it up first. If you do it the way I'm explaining to you here, you reel first, get the line nice and tight, and then pick it up nice and easy, you'll probably get nine out of ten in the boat. All right. There's a big difference. I'd say. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. All right. Next time, I'll just push you out of the way and grab it. Well, we should pull it because <laughs> I was going for it too. So. <laughs> there you go. Real one. Come on, come on, come on. It's on. It's on. Okay. Step right over to the starboard side there. Keep going right over, right in the corner. Get that out of your way. I think it's a pretty good one. Yeah, don't let them sit there. Some come in nice and easy. They stop, just lift up a little bit. I might have to, is a drag you want? Yeah, the drag should be good. Good. Remember, we're using 14 pound gas line. Yeah, I just stopped because the drag was going yeah. out. Yep. When they, when they stop like that, you just kind of lift up nice and easy. Good one. Well, just keep it coming in about 10 feet or so. Don't lower your rod tip. Keep your tip up. Bring them right over in the corner here. Okay, just lift up nice and easy. You ready? Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay, now lower your tip and hit the free spool. Yep. Set it, set it right in the rod. Oh, yeah. I'm forgetting what you told me. Here we go. There he is. Just hold that for me, Hal. Get it? He had an eel on him or two, didn't he? Oh, yeah, he's been picked on, I would say. Is that a keeper? That's a keeper if you guys want to keep him. Put that against the affinity. That was the other one. There you go. Yeah. Think you can top that, Woody? Try. It's a speed and temperature probe. It goes onto the downrigger, and you can check the temperature at whatever depth. You, you're trying to, like salmon, we want to try and find like 52 to 55 degree water right in there, 58. That's where we want our lures running. So Let that's going to tell us what depth that temperature is at. Yeah. Plus on Champlain a lot of times we'll get an undercurrent. Yeah. So we can be going two miles an hour on top, down 30 feet, and all your lures are only running a mile an hour. So you have to adjust the speed for where your yeah. lures are because of the undercurrent. What do you want to be running? One and a half? I'm saying about two depends on the time of year, but right now probably two two to two five. That's how fast the smelt swim. Apparently. <laughs> we got a lot of owl lives here now too. It's a baby! Yeah, he fell off right there. Ooh. We can let that one go if you yeah, want. Yeah, Chris, you caught a baby. I know. What are you gonna do? <laughs> what? We gotta. Want me to pick him up? Or? Yeah, we'll just be nice and easy with him. Yep. Flip him right over. Hey, buddy, have a good day. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a lure in there. That's all right. Oh, okay. Fish on right there. Get him? No. Didn't get it quick enough. Oh. We're not paying attention. Oh. oh yeah, yeah, there's something there. He's, He's there. Him. You he got him. He got it. He just came back and got it. Yeah. Thank you. 
sea lamp ray on there, free full it. Step out with it. Here's our first sea lamp ray today. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I know what's gonna happen to him. That one's a little bigger, Chris. Yeah. You wanna let him go? I don't care. Okay. Yeah, that. Hit him with the bat first. Yeah, that guy's bleeding. We better keep that thing. Ooh, heavy. <laughs> Boy, them are vicious, ain't they? Let's take a look at that thing. These are the working parts of the lamprey. These ones right down here in the middle. I don't know if you can see them, but right down there in the middle, those are the ones that do all the damage. These are here for suction. Let's show you what they do here. Yeah, he was hooked right on there, wasn't he? Yeah, he just got on and there's where he was, right there. I'm gonna give you four pounds on that. I think so too. Nice fish. Yeah, gonna be a good eating fish, that's for sure. That's right. Yep. Okay, throw him in the cooler. Sam, you're up, Sam. BigWoodsBucks.com, your source to learn the secrets of tracking and stalking big game in the big woods of Maine. Visit BigWoodsBucks.com for all Big Woods Bucks products and information. Check out the new line of Beagle Wool Outerwear, designed by Hal and sewn by Beagle to be lightweight with a limited bulk, simple design, a removable orange vest makes it perfect for all seasons and locations. At BigWoodsBucks.com, you'll also find books and DVDs. The Big Woods team is pleased to announce the Real Deal series of hunting videos with their first full-length moose hunting DVD, the Real Deal Series Moose Volume 1, an action-packed hunting DVD blended with the education to understand the moose and the hunt. With Big Woods Bucks, it ain't about the rack, it's about the track. BigWoodsBucks.com What kind of knot you're going to use on that thing? I use a clove hitch usually. This is called the polymer no. knot. I didn't mean a clove hitch, I meant a clinch knot. Clinch knot. Polymer? This one's called the polymer. Polymer knot, all right. Okay, we got the end of our string here. I'm going to learn something new here, I can see that right now. What we're going to do is just flop it over like that, and we create this bow up here, like this. Yep. Okay. Got a loop. And we come through our clip, like so. Yeah. Now we got it's doubled over through yeah. the clip. We're gonna we're gonna tie a knot just like you're tying your shoes here. Okay. Grab the loop. Overhand. Yep. Okay. Now I'm gonna pull that lure right through that loop. Yeah. Okay. And this makes a figure eight. Oh yeah. Okay. You want it very crucial to keep this wet when you're doing this. Yeah. All right. This came up a lot. Eighty-one. Pull it tight. Grab both pieces and Does it cinch right down on it. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. It's bad for your teeth to do that, you know. I'm just tightening the knot. That's why we got cutters here.
I want him right there where you are? Anywhere, I don't matter. I can go over here. Don't point your tip at him. Okay. All right. That's a nice trout. Free spool that line. Yep. That's a nice one. Woo! I asked you guys if you want. All right. Boat caught him. That trout is nice. That's about a eight pounder, seven. Well, he's pushing nine something. I oh, really? Yeah, That'll feed the family. He's got nice bright colors on his fins. Nice yep. bright orange. This one ain't got no eel marks on him either. Yep, that's what makes him a really strong fish. Nice clean both sides. Yeah. He's, he's got, got an old, one, old, one old sky. Really old spot yep. there. Yeah. But for the most part, that fish is. Had a real healthy life. That's a beauty. Remember, Let me get a picture. Remember what we like to catch right there. Hold on. There we go. Free spool. That's cool. Boy, what a day of fishing, huh? What a day of fishing. Absolutely beautiful. I had no idea this could be so much fun. <laughs> Should have thrown that last one back, Sam. Oh, yeah, look at this. <laughs> We're gonna be real gentle with him because we gotta let him go. Yep. Just hang on a second. That ain't gonna look good. Nice fat clean fish. Yeah, he's beautiful. Wanna give him a kiss? No, oh, that's alright. <laughs> <laughs> BigWoodsBucks.com, your source to learn the secrets of tracking and stocking big game in the big woods of Maine. Visit BigWoodsBucks.com for all Big Woods Bucks products and information. Check out the new line of Beagle Wool Outerwear, designed by Hal and sewn by Beagle to be lightweight with a limited bulk, simple design, a removable orange vest makes it perfect for all seasons and locations. At BigWoodsBucks.com, you'll also find books and DVDs. The Big Woods team is pleased to announce the Real Deal series of hunting videos with their first full-length moose hunting DVD, the Real Deal Series Moose Volume 1, an action-packed hunting DVD blended with the education to understand the moose and the hunt. With Big Woods Bucks, it ain't about the rack, it's about the track. BigWoodsBucks.com Hey, here we are, a second morning with Shore Strike Charters here, down on Lake Champlain. And uh, yesterday we had quite a bit of wind and the boat was rocking and rolling and we had a good day, but see, this morning it's perfect. It's sunny morning. Almost flat, calm, just a little riffle on the water, and and uh, so we're getting ready to see what we're going to do. Maybe fish for some salmon, maybe go fish for some togue, but we're going to fish a couple hours this morning and uh, see what we can do. Look at the size of that bait. Yeah, thing. That yeah. thing's over a foot long. Yeah. But this is a, that's another laker, ain't it? That bait. No, it's a lake here. Oh. Oh, he's got a nice one. Phew! <laughs> you did it.
you want to net him. Nice fish, huh? Reach pull. Pretty one. Six pounds. Am I getting good at it? Good shape, no marks. That one has any clips on there. No, I don't think so. Native. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you got no, uh, you got no eel marks on him. Nice clean. Yep. That's a little sore there. Probably been caught before. Someone caught him by the gill, probably. Cut himself I tell you, I tell you, know the fish and catch and release program is working here because. Probably an old hook mark here. He's still good and strong and ready to live another day. Get him back in. Pew! Right to the bottom. Hey, thanks for watching this week's show. I hope you had as much fun as we did. Yeah, we had a lot of fun bending those rods. I had a, a fantastic time. Fantastic time. Me too. <laughs> I figured you did. <laughs> the number basically is on the screen on their website. Sure Strike Charters does a great job. They're the only full-time charter on Lake Champlain. So get in touch with them if you want to have a day like we had out on the lake. Yeah, say hi to Captain Paul and Captain Brian for us. Can't wait to get home and cook up some of them yeah, lake trout. So what is it you always say at the end of your show, guys? God bless. And good luck on the trail. Thanks for watching.